Welcome to the simulation. Today I'm going to show you how to make S plus the most broken breeding mod in the workshop. So normally uh, you use the S plus mutator, you do one pulse, it costs 10 element, and your dinos are guaranteed one mutation on the baby. You can go up to two, but that's the cap that usually costs 20 element and there's a decent cooldown. Well, as you can see here, my cap is 100. Not only that, it only costs one element. I'll just show you right here. 189, 188. And there is no cooldown. I've almost entirely removed it. It's so quick that, you know, it. you don't even see the counter. But I'm just going to show you real quick. I'm going to get this up to 100. Okay, as you can see, they're at 100 and they're breeding really quickly. If you want to see how to get really fast breeding like this, I have another video on that and I'll link it in the description and on the end of this video. So now they have that 100 pulse, that means these eggs will be mutated. And if they're not, this is very important to note. Look at a stat. See like the 61 health, the 57 melee. The cap for any stat is 255. You don't want that. You want 254 or 253. Because if you go to 255, you can't level that stat anymore. So if these mutators go over the limit for a stat... That stat will not mutate. So you gotta do a little bit of math. That's why I usually do like smaller pulses, like 50 pulses, so it's 100 into each stat. Okay, so each mutation pulse adds two levels to a stat. So, I mean, it's, it's simple math, but just keep that in mind. Because unfortunately, you can't just do 100 pulses and it just caps it and doesn't go over it. If it does go over the mutation, like, right here, see? 200 levels in this stamina on this female. And then oxygen. There's no reason for oxygen on a snow owl. 200 in the weight. But as you can see, the health is not mutating, and the melee is not mutating. Because if you add 200 points to that, it's over cap. So it's not going to mutate. So keep that in mind. You can, uh, of course, just do fewer pulses, and that stat will mutate. That's what I do. That's how I do all my mutations. Uh, ignore the car cars. I'm still working on those. But if you've seen any of my max mutation videos, like here's the Bracky. 253, 254, Melee, Bronto, same. Uh, Rock Drake, same. But anyway. That's the broken breeding. Now let me go over and show you the I and I settings, so you can do the exact same thing on your server. Okay, I'm over here on G Portal for reference. If you have any other service provider, they should all have this uh, basically the same layout. But G Portal's the best. I don't have a discount code yet, but hopefully I'll be sponsored by them one day. Either way, uh, you want to go over to configuration files. You want to go down to game user settings .I and I, not game I and I. You want to click that. And uh, you just want to scroll down to a blank space. I've already got all this in there, so I don't have to do that. But basically, normally, I'll just show you. You'd be like, go down here, click this line, shift enter to skip down a line, and then you can uh, basically type what I'm about to show you. Go back up here. Ignore all these other mods. Okay, so you want the header, structures plus. Make sure it is exactly like that. And uh, just type that to the bottom, and then shift enter, and then you want to... I enter these settings. If you try to enter these settings without having this little header, it's not going to change anything. After you get that header, you're going to want to put in these specific uh, adjustments. The mutator buff max stat count, that's the max amount you can do per uh, mutation pulse. So this is the absolute cap. You cannot go over 100. You can make it anything. In all my videos, they've been it's been at 50 because 50 pulses is equivalent to 100 points in the one stat from one egg but 100 is the cap let's go ahead and put that in there the mutator pulse cost this is how much element will take per mutation pulse i have it on one i've not tried it on zero but i know the, th the max i think is a thousand i don't know why you'd want that but you can adjust that and the mutator pulse cooled down that's on one that's what mine is and that's how i'm constantly spamming it so you want that. If not, you have to wait like a few minutes. And that buff from the mutator pulse only lasts for roughly five minutes. 
So you're going to want that pulse to go back to back to back. And every time you do make a pulse, it does reset the timer. So once you're at 100, just pulse every now and then and you're good. These are other settings I have. So like the uh, incubation multiplier from the hatchery, I have that on 6 now. I just added that. And these are some just random changes I've made if you're interested in any of that. Uh, unrelated. But yeah, if you have that typed, uh, just save it. And then turn off your server. Turn it back on. And you should be good to go. But yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. Very simple. And of course you need the S plus mod. Here's all my mods right now, but Structures Plus. You really need that. Also, if you're curious on how the stacking works, it just counts as one mutation. I'll show you here. Joanne's Accessories. One mutation, even though it's really 100. So it's very easy to stack. Just breed all your mutated babies together, get them all on a male, and breed that with a clean female. And also, I've been getting comments asking how to increase the range of the mutator, so I'll go ahead and show you that as well. Uh, that's not an INI &I thing, as far as I know. Uh, you just hold E on the mutator, go to range, increase it, I got it up to 50. I'll show you the range of this, it's actually insane. Alright, there it's one off. As you can see, it stops right about here. So that's how far the 50 range is. 